Hey there, it's Bricks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today I'm going to talk about a feature of the ScanSnap software on Windows called the ScanSnap folder. Now, I don't think Fujitsu would ever actually say this, but the ScanSnap folder is a way for you to get around the fact that the ScanSnap does not support Twain. And basically what it lets you do is it allows you to scan a document from any application on Windows that allows you to attach a document. And by any application, I mean pretty much any Windows application and also any web application. So if you're using a web-based email, you can initiate a scan right from inside your email and attach it. That's not what I'm going to show you today, though. I'm just going to show you from the free Adobe Reader. So this isn't even the full-on Adobe Acrobat, but just the free Adobe Reader. Give you a sample of how we can attach a scanned document and initiate the scan from within Adobe Reader. So I've fired up Adobe Reader here. I'm on my Windows machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit open. So we're telling Adobe Reader that we want to open a file even though we haven't actually scanned it yet. And when you install the latest versions of the ScanSnap software on Windows, you'll see you have this option here under favorites called ScanSnap folder. And I'm going to click there. And nothing comes up, which is a little uh, anticlimactic. But now all I'm going to do is I have a piece of paper in my scan snap. You're going to have to take my word for it. And I'm just going to hit the scan button on the scanner. So it's running through. You can see it's scanning now. And now it's automatically popped up that document that I just scanned. And it allows me to give, give it a name. So let's say the name is uh, I don't know, November gas bill. Not my usual naming convention, but good enough. And you have a bunch of options here, but I'm just going to hit save. And now I can just open that up in Acrobat Reader. So that is a simple example of how the ScanSnap folder works. Now, we could have just set up a ScanSnap folder to scan to Acrobat Reader if we really wanted to. But I just wanted to show you that as an example of how you can do that from a web browser as well, anywhere on your computer, any application that you can attach a document with. So that's how the ScanSnap folder works. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.